Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you could upgrade your Kindle, Amazon Kindle Fire to the latest version, which is the update 6.2. In order to get started, you need to download the files from our blog or directly from Amazon. And then, once you've downloaded the same, you need to connect your Amazon Kindle Fire using the cable through the USB port. And then, once you connect the device, you get a separate folder onto your screen which says Kindle with a space of 5 GB. Under this, you would find multiple folders. Here, you need to move on to the Kindle updates folder and paste the file. As you can see here, it's a 180 MB file and it's being transferred to the Kindle Fire. And we need to wait for the transfer to be done. Before you start this update process, you need to move to the Kindle Fire and check out the current firmware version if it is 6.1 or uh, if it's the latest 6.2 version and Amazon is trying out uh, pushing the latest updates as soon as possible so you need to check out on what firmware update you already are so let the download or let the file be transferred once it's done you need to disconnect from your PC and then once you need to tap on the disconnect button on your Kindle Fire screen following which you need to start the software update I'll, once the files are transferred I'll move on to the Kindle Fire and I'll show you the next step of process as you can see the 180 MB file is being transferred it's almost being done here the file is transferred and now we are in the main screen of Kindle Fire let me just proceed and move towards the device option and here once I'm in the de device option I need to tap on the system version option wherein there is option called update your kindle here it says updating kindle to the OTA version and it has rebooted the switched off the device first And as you can see, there is a verification process going on, which is which says verifying update package, and then installing installing the update. If you have any queries around these options, you can uh, very well visit our forum. That is AndroidAdvisors.com/forums or you can catch us on Facebook the process is quite simple you just need to push the file from your PC to the device or else if you are connected on a very high speed Wi-Fi connection you can directly do it uh, using the OTA that's the over there air option but in most cases we have been notified that users are not able to do it through the Wi-Fi which is the reason we are showing you this option and as you can see the op installing update is almost done and it says the device is rebooting because this update was successful once done the device would reboot and boot up back and uh, you would see the home screen back on the front you need to tap on the settings and devices option check if the firmware update was perfectly done or not so let us just wait and uh, confirm the same here we are 
let us just tap on this and tap on the device here we can see it says system version 3.6.2 underscore user so that verifies that the device is being updated uh, is already been updated to the latest firmware version thanks for watching